I fell into the game with instant kill chapter. Neutral Nations Conference The King of Kaja was completely at a loss for words. Seventh Lord, what the hell was this person talking about? If we start a war, he will fight alone on the side of Earth Hill. It's a strange declaration. No, it's so absurd, like a nonsensical thing that wouldn't even make anyone laugh. However, if the person who made that statement was a Lord of Kolderic and no one else, it could no longer be nonsense. He had reigned for a long time as the king of a neutral country sandwiched between two gents, Kolderic and Santir. That's why he knew better than anyone how far beyond common sense was the power possessed by a real, transcendent person, not a mediocre strongman, the lords of Kolderic, the power that each of them possessed alone could literally overwhelm a nation. Longford and Ter looked at him in a half-phased state at the sudden remark of the seventh lord, so did the others, isn't that strange to say? The king of Kaja tried to use sophistry, trying to turn around the situation, a lord is definitely Kolderic's military strength, even if only an individual will take part in the war the seventh lord stopped him from speaking. Kolderic is not a single nation, but a coalition of ten lords. Lords were said to be independent powers who were in partnership, not subordinated and led by the overlord. The overlord also laughed and helped. There was room for misunderstanding in my statement that Kolderic would not interfere. Just accept that as my will. The king of Kaja felt something rising inside him and gritted his teeth tightly, in terms of the formal system. It was indeed the case, but the words of the seventh lord and the overlord were still sophistry, but he couldn't refute them, in the end. All the contents of this meeting were ultimately made only by the will of both Kolderic and Santir. The neutral countries just asked for their tacit permission to take care of their interests, if either side stepped forward directly. No matter what the justification or reason, it could not be resisted. Just as Kaja mentioned the war in Earth Hill, the important thing was not just cause, but power. How about Santizo the king of Kaja looked back at the emperor, since Kolderic raised itself, only Santi could stop them. However, the emperor was just looking at the seventh lord with a nonchalant expression, soon his mouth opened, why do you want to support the Earth Hill kingdom, seventh lord? The seventh lord answered, is it right to cause warlike chaos by territorial issues at a time like this? I just want the stability of the continent, and that's probably the same for the hero. She seems to be still concentrating on her recovery so I couldn't help but take care of this problem for her. At those words, the corner of the emperor's eyes twitched slightly. The overlord, who laughed at the emperor as if she was having fun, opened her mouth. Anyway, it looks like the Seventh Lord is really going to take part. How is it? The Emperor, who was silent for a moment, shook his head. There is no change in Santi's will. It's not the best for peace on the continent to suppress unresolved conflicts by force. I was trying not to interfere in the dispute between the two countries. However, if it is the will of the Seventh Lord, I will respect that too. In the end, even if the Seventh Lord were involved, Santi would not intervene. The king of Kaja let out a small laugh with a vain face. The seventh lord asked him like that, The king of Kaja, do you still have the determination to fight the war against Earth Hill? If there is no change, you can officially declare war here. After saying that, seeing the arrogant appearance of the seventh lord, who leaned back on the chair and crossed his arms, the king of Kaja clenched his fists tightly. It was as if an ogre would suddenly intervene in a war between goblins. The existence of the kingdom would be in jeopardy. Even if that one thing came out, my decision was premature. I will retract all the above statements. Kaja has no intention of going to war with Earth Hill. In the end, he had no choice but to raise his hands in surrender. Other kings also sighed inwardly at the king of Kaja's swift reversal. But he had no choice either. If Santu didn't step forward, there would be no answer. No matter what, do you think we still need to talk about this issue, or should we move on to the next one? Longford gazed at the King of Kaja, who meekly bowed down, then moved his gaze to the Seventh Lord. With just a few words, he easily made Kaja back down, and he looked calm, as if being a wolf was natural. He couldn't help but feel awed by Kolderic's status once again. But why in the world why did the Seventh Lord help Earth Hill? He still couldn't help but feel doubts and anxiety about him, so the relief was short-lived. 
while the talks continued like that, Longford couldn't take his mind off the Seventh Lord, 